following is a presentation of the Horseman Wrestling Association. It is copyrighted for the private use of our audience. Any other use of this telecast or any pictures, descriptions, or accounts of the show without the HWA's consent is prohibited. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to HWA Right in the Teeth. Tonight you'll see Goldfather defend the World Championship against Katungi, and BT Goth will take on Roadblock Rachel for the Women's World Title. You'll also see two brand new additions to the tag team pool tangling. Sabu and Mr. Q will try to get each other to wear the crimson mask, and much more. It's gonna blow your mind like a COVID-19 test with a firecracker. Don't go anywhere! Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the Cornhole Coliseum here in Cincinnati, Ohio, for HWA Right in the Teeth. Coming down right now, you haven't seen them together, folks. You haven't seen them, uh, Bob Zombie, with pretty much anybody. But they are <laughs> <They're laughs> dead and buried right there. <coughs> they kind of, kind of stammered through that while I was waiting for the make an appearance here. But anyway, that is Bob Zombie. That is Chrome Magnet. And they are dead and buried. And they're coming down, and uh, we haven't seen them in action. It's plain and simple. Uh, this is their first as a tag team, but we did see uh, what, who we're we going to look at. We're going to look at Bob here. Uh, Bob Zombie performed the brain scrambler on Katungi, uh, who, who after a two count got his shoulder up. I can't believe that Katungi even did this. Uh, Bob Zombie's a tough customer, but Katungi got the better of him in that match. But uh, anyway, let's go ahead and have a look at it. Oh, this could be bad for Katungi. And now, guys, just the eyes. It's going to be this brain scrambling down him. He crushed his head with it. And now it's got to be. I don't know if he's going to go for a pin. He's got the pin here. And now there's one. There's two. Oh, my God. Getting that shoulder up just at the last split second. It's Katungi. That's him, ladies and gentlemen. That's Bob Zombie and his partner. Uh, we didn't see in that clip, like I say. Uh, when we start to see these teams uh, going at it more and more, we will have clips to show you. But that is them. Together, Pro Magden, Bob Zombie, dead and buried, ready for action. Now coming down is the other team. Who's the other team? Oh, that's right, that is, <laughs> god damn, the nose bleeds with Admiral Deuce Albino, Maxi Pat, <laughs> they're jamming. <laughs> they're ready to party here, folks. A Maxi Pat and, of course, Burger Dude. And uh, we saw Burger Dude just recently in that television title. Pretty much got manhandled by Sabu. I will say that Sabu was a big, tough customer. So we'll have to see if these two, the, if there's synergy with them uh, that gets things going. But uh, in that match, uh, he, he did give Sabu a fake out. Got him over to the top, uh, over the top of the rope there and uh, hit the ground pretty hard. And that was basically not the only thing that we saw from him. That's the only clip that we could come up with. I'm sorry, folks. I'm sorry. But let's go ahead and have a look at it anyway. And now coming in, trying to crumple his bag once again. <laughs> I did it again. <laughs> A big throw over the ropes one Sabu. That's them, folks. That is, that is the nosebleeds. Blood and snot. Lovely. Lovely. Anyway, <laughs> there we go. They're going to ring the bell. And... Nobody's uh, their eyes sizing each other up, and finally they come up. Bob Zombie just picks back, uh, picks Booger Dude up, and slams him right back down. Uh, this is not a uh, there was, we're not held in the cell. This is uh, standard tag rules here. And now, oh god, he stomps on his bag, or I mean his sack. I mean what? <laughs> well, you know what I'm saying. Oh, and another shot to the <laughs> another shot to the, uh, the, the the brown paper mist there. And now another one. Good lord, he keeps he loves to stomp on that sack of his. <laughs> and another one got right between the eyes with that heel. And now, oh yo, Bob is showing off. He's usually a method actor, he likes to do the whole zombie thing, but uh, underneath, he's just a, a badass motherfucker, he likes to hurt people. And now, oh God, picking, picking him up from a stand, the problem, position power bomb there. Oh God, uh, that bag crumpled, I think. And now Bob going over. I, I think Booker Dude might get, a, might want to get a tag in real quick here. <laughs> this, this is this is not a good situation for, for Booker Dude. Now he's back in the wrong quarter. Hell's wrong with him. Oh, getting, oh, getting picked. Oh, God, a, a spin around power slam there. And Booker Dude going for the tag, but can't get it. He gets stomped on the thigh. Or on the, uh, yeah, the, the thigh, not the thigh. Oh, there's a, there's a move there, a submission move. And where the hell is uh, Leonard Burke looking? <laughs> is Leonard Burke blind? I guess he's listening for it. I'm trying to focus on the, uh, listen to the voice, focus on it. <laughs> anyway, uh, coming down with the punches. There's, uh, oh, that's the, uh, just his shorts and loses his, his balance there, loses his uh, focus there. 
And now Bob taking taking the booger dude and grabbing his head. Oh, now he's biting him. He's trying to bite, bite through that paper bag and gets him a slingshot. Oh, good Lord. He's just getting... Uh, uh, first of all, it was Sabu. Now it's Bob Zombie Man handling him. It's just insanity here for this poor booger dude. Uh, yeah, 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 Admiral Deuce has got to be got to be a little worried. And now, in a stance, here it comes. He got just the eyes. You know what's next? Oh, enormous kick right to the sack. And he's down after that brain scrambler. And he pulls him out. And goes, he's going to go for a quick pin here. But now, it looks like Maxi Pat's coming in. And Maxi Pat breaks up the breaks up the pin. And now, oh, God. Getting shot from behind. Double teamed by Crow. And now Crow coming around. But no shot to the back by by Bob Zombie. Oh, now punch it back. He's not the legal man. He's not a lot in there. This is chaos, folks. Come on, Leonard, get it together. Now getting whipped on the, the turnbuckle and the pad goes rolling out. A bloody pad rolling. <laughs> He's supposed to roll it up, put it in. Never mind. <laughs> no more phone and hygiene comments here. Now, please. Uh, now, clothesline misses. Hey, good Lord, what the something happened? <laughs> shook, the, shook the arena, but we didn't see it. And now, clothesline there by Bob Zombie. Picking the bag up. I'm picking the booger dude up again. The bag, the sack, whatever. And now, finally, you got the you got the Maxi Pad getting back up to his position. Right now, he's putting... He's, oh, he got him again. He's biting him again. Oh, good Lord. He's going to tear a, tear a hole right through that bag, and we might see what booger dude actually looks like. But no, it's, it's a tough sack. <laughs> it's a tough sack. <laughs> Rawhide. No. <laughs> anyway, going to the corner now. And what's this going to be? Oh, a good tag's going to be made. And what is this? Oh, we've heard about this, folks. We heard this, it's, it's, it's their tag mood. This is the autopsy. Laying them on the table. Laying them out right on the table. And here comes. Oh, with this move. Oh, God, those big boots coming down for the for the incision, the first incision. And there they go. And now, oh, now with the pin with Crow here. There's one. There's two. There's three. It's hit and buried. The Crow did that. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> Zombie giving a Maxi Pad a suplex, really driving that victory home. <laughs> after, after getting chewed on and slingshotted out of there. Oh, my God. <laughs> Booger didn't, didn't, didn't have much to bring. Right oh, my Jesus. God. The impact of that. Not, no, another biting. <laughs> Trying to bite through the bag. <laughs> yeah, he wants to see his face badly. And then this, that that, that legs those, uh, almost like the uh, uh, Masato Mayhem with with her Shanghai stomp. That's just a shot. Yeah, well, let's see another look at it here. Right down here, there's the autopsy. Boom. He, down he goes with a, a package suplex, a uh, package backdrop, and now there comes a move out of the way. Good Lord, zombie's big. He takes up the whole fucking screen. We didn't even see what Crow did. But we saw what Crow did here. He got down with the pin. There was one. There was two. And of course, number three for the victory there. <laughs> and as Bob Zombie gives a, gives Maxi Pat a suplex, and right there you have Dead and Buried, their first trial, their first victory here in the HWA as a tag team. I gotta say, yeah, coming up, we see them after after this impressive show. Uh, I, th I think those that the tag team belts might be in their future, but we'll have to wait and see. Anyway, we got the, I got a dry mouth here. I gotta go get a drink. Uh, this match is over. When we come back, we will have the... Uh, it's going to be an Extreme Rules match between Bones McIntyre and the Gimp. And this is Keys yawning here. We got, oh, nice view. It's like a giant purple penis covering up. <laughs> He's looking over top of it. It's Barney's dick. Great. Okay, moving on. We'll be back. Uh, thanks for, uh, for joining us here. Uh, this is the HWA and the Anal Network reminding you to always wear a condom. Come back for more HWA action. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Cornhole Coliseum here in Cincinnati, Ohio. And right now, we're going to have some Extreme Rules action here for you. It's going to feature this guy, Bones McIntyre. He's coming down to shake a bone in your face. <laughs> Sometimes, somebody might like that. I don't know. He's a, he's a, he's a, I don't know. I'm not going <laughs> to. I don't want to make any uh, questionable comments here. <laughs> like I don't every week, constantly. <laughs> anyway, we saw Bones. What did we see? And we saw him in the table match. And uh, he, he, he has been a burr under Katungi's saddle for quite some time. This uh, th this one is another incident of that right here when he power bombs Katungi through the table for the victory. Let's have a look at it. He's grabbing Katungi by the scruff of the neck. Where's he taking him? He's going to take it. He doesn't know where he's taking him. And now it just rams him into the table. The table, 100 and, or 350, 90 pounds. Oh, I picked him up. Look at all the weight. He's up high. Stabs him back down through the table. That's him, ladies and gentlemen. That is Bones McIntyre. Ready to battle here. Do battle with the Gimp. Who we haven't seen since I've seen a little bit. So, welcome him back. And it's party time. Come on. It's been a while. Stay along with me. Everybody loves the Gimp. Except for Chuck Ross from time to time. <laughs> anyway, <clears throat> time to time. I didn't, I didn't mean that the way it sounded. 
Anyway, let's have a look at uh, what Gimp did. What did he do? Oh, he was in the TLC match. That's right. He, uh, he got he was on the top of the ladder. And Fritz, Snowman, and Corporal triple teaming him while he's on top of the ladder. Uh, he ends up pushing the ladder out from under, and he goes crashing down. And uh, that was just uh, that, that was unnecessary. I, I must say that's unnecessary. But it's still funny to watch. So let's have a look at it. He wants that money. He's going to go to the lion's den. Please don't Ohio. say we have a dangling gimp. I don't want to hear it. <laughs> I want to see it. Dangle the gimp, please. Oh, dear Come Jesus. On. Uh, the team, the team work. Oh, no. Oh, oh, my oh. God. What a fall. He was falling right as the ladder gets shoved out from underneath him and comes crashing down. That's him, ladies and gentlemen. That is the gimp. And they're going to be tangling up here for this, uh, this extreme rolls. Okay, so we'll see some good stuff here. See some, uh, what do you have? Uh, tables, chairs, whatever. And uh, there they go. And oh, oh getting, getting, uh, get picked up right away. That, that big flabby posterior, posterior anterior, every terrier. Uh, my bones. <clears throat> so I'm having a little problem here getting the throat dry. <laughs> it got really dry. I'm trying to, get, trying to get it moisturized right now. So uh, bear with me. Now, okay, bones. Bones back up. Gimp back up. And now pick and get back up again. And look at the strength. Slamming about. That's, that's no small carcass there to pick up and take down. The gimp in, in that form. A lot of, a lot of flab in there to, to have to handle. Oh, we're going for a grab and misses. And now turn around and punch to the armpit. And another punch to the back. Gimp, gimp showing a... I don't know. Did he punch him in the balls? Oh, God. But he punched him in the bone. And now <laughs> there's a suplex there right into the corner. And the gimp having problems. I, I, I know he likes... He enjoys the pain. But uh, right now, I think he might want to throw a punch or, or a kick or something. Do anything. And now... No work on him. He's got, he's got him back. Oh, it's going to be uh, it's gonna be a facial clutch here. Trying to be uh, the, the, the jaw cracker, the jaw breaker. And now finally able to get out of it. And uh, he face plants Bonesy right there. Now coming back from behind. Punch Bones in the back. Finally, he's on some action here, some offense. And he take, takes him with a nice backdrop. Taking Bonesy right over top. Now again, again grabbing him by the mask. And, oh, to give Bonesy taking him with an arm sweep there. And now a kick to the back <laughs> by Bones. Neither of these wrestlers really, really putting on much of a show here right now, but there's a leg lift by the Gimp. Takes him a little while to get warmed up, and it's been a while since both of these wrestlers have been in there. But now a kick. Oh, wow, that was a big kick right to Bonesy's head. And Bones, now okay, pick, picking Bones back up. The Gimp. The Gimp, oh, and we got... Bones fell down. <laughs> He's falling, and he can't get up. What is that? I don't know, but it uh, looks like we're going to have some visitors here. Uh, Bones, uh, for, for the Gimp, the Gimp says, come on, what's going on? Somebody show up, somebody does, oh, it's a, there he comes, oh, look at it, oh, Jesus Christ, what the fuck is that? It's a fucking enormous, that is the biggest fucking dude I've ever seen in my life, and you hit him with a chair and he rolls back out, who the hell is that? Is it, it, it yeah, 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 it looks like him, it can't be him though, it can't, that cannot be Noah's Ark, that cannot be it, Noah's Ark's in prison right now, he's serving 18 months for embezzlement, he, he didn't get out, did he? No, okay, well then, then it can't be him. I, folks, I don't know what's going on here, folks, right now, but uh, Bone, Bone and we're, we're back out, back in the ring here. Bones with a clothesline, and now Bones, oh, Bones with a leg drop. You didn't see it, but you definitely felt it. <laughs> now Bones, Bones working, working the gimp, but you can't even see the gimp, and now a kick to the gimp's back. And Bones, he says he's had enough. He's, he's doing that, uh, you know, he wants to cut his head off. <laughs> he wants to do an, an, an autopsy of his own, apparently. And now it says, oh, it's going to be the spinal tap. He's got him up, and oh, here he goes, cracking the, cracking the gimp's back. Goes crackle, crackle, pop, pop, snap, snap. And now a kick to the side. Yeah, it was Royce Krispies. <laughs> now a kick to the side. <laughs> and Bonesy, Bonesy picking him up again. After that, after that spinal tap, what else can you follow up? Oh, here's what you follow it up with. It is going to be the craniotomy. She got out of the floor. Out of the floor. My God, Kim. Oh, is he dead? You killed him. No, he didn't. No, he didn't. The Kim. <laughs> but that's not a pain he expected right there. The Kim having a problem keeping his balance, obviously, after that shot. And now, what is this again? And oh, picked up and pancaked down on that hard floor. Bonesy really taking over here for the Gimp. My God. And now a clothesline on the Gimp. Then Gimp goes crashing back down to the floor. Uh, Gimp, Gimp, needs, Gimp needs something here. Run away for a little while. Try to catch your breath. And double collar bone chop by Bones. But Gimp says, okay, Gimp says bring it. He wants some more with a body slam there. This crowd getting a nice show over here on this side. The other, the other side of the, the stadium is like, where the fuck? What's going on? I can't see shit. Now... After taking Gimp off the post. And not again. Oh, another shot down Gimp on the post. And a bang in that head. That leather mask helps a little bit, but not too much. And a stomp. Oh, Gimp, Gimp getting picked back up by Bonesy. And Bonesy with a jaw shot there to Gimp. The Gimp just taking it. And Gimp, oh, finally, finally, Gimp jives back. And now, oh, here goes the Gimp. The Gimp with the ass whipping. Oh, oh that'll, that'll, that'll come back to your spine right there, Bonesy. And now a stomp. But yeah, I'm hurting for the Gimp. Everybody loves the Gimp. I love the Gimp. Well, not that way. <laughs> and now, oh, goes for a chop slap and gets knocked right out of the air. And then, oh, grabs the back of Bonesy's mask and pulls him straight down. 
They're kind of a rolling down, actually. And now there he's speaking of rolling. He goes rolling back in. And again, we're back in the ring here for this uh, match. Uh, we had, well, we, it was extreme rolls. We had a chair shot by some big bastard who, who it was a, a very striking resemblance to Noah's Ark. I don't know, but right now, he's uh, getting punched out of that arm lock. And now going for this. Oh, going for a little whirly bird suplex there by the Gimp. And the Gimp slapping the ass. Oh, he, he wants some ass action here, whatever it's going to be. I don't know. It could it be the blood plug? No, it's not. He's just going for a clothesline. And another clothesline takes him down. And, of course, a, a, a reverse attempt. But a flying clothesline by the Gimp. And the Gimp starting to, starting to feel his oats again. Now picking Bonesy back up. Bonesy, no, Bonesy getting shot. Oh, here we go. Here we go. The butt plug. Oh, <laughs> God, I'm cracking that spine. Oh, these guys these both need chiropractors after this mess. Holy God. And now working the, oh, taking the lead. Oh, God, they put the knee on the chair. No, they missed the chair. Just barely. And now swinging, but missing. And grabs grabs Bonesy by his, by his skull. At <laughs> least almost grabs him. <laughs> kind of psychically grabs him. And now Bones. Bones going for it. Oh, another pancake right down there in the ring this time. And uh, maybe his toes might have. Ah, oh, there we go. A shot in the gimp. He's got the bloody gimp. <laughs> and now a pin. There's one. There's two. And no, the gimp kicks out. Gimp not ready to call it quits just yet. Now, shot to the back there by Bones. Bones. Big kick. And coming around. And now goes, oh, he's going to go for it again. That's going to be the spinal tap. The second one. Oh, God, the Gimp. He almost caught his own head on, on the rope there. Uh, that might be it for the Gimp. I think it can only take so much. And there's a pin. There's one. There's two. There's three. Bones McIntyre making work of uh, the Gimp here. Not fast work, I will say. Uh, it took him a little while, but uh, with the assistance of some big fucking bastard who came in here, so, some uh, uh, Noah's Ark lookalike. Uh, like I say, it can't be him because he is, he is in fact, serving uh, in, a, in a, it's, it's minimum security. Well, with him, you got to at least get uh, mediocre security, not this minimum shit. <laughs> he'll just, he'll just tear, tear the door right off the fucking cell. But uh, right there you see the butt plug by the Gimp. And uh, well, uh, hopefully by the, by the time the podcast rolls around, we'll have some news for you on exactly who that was. But uh, for now, it's just a mystery. Right there, you got the pin. And it was one. There's two. And it kicked out on that one. But uh, it was the, after the, what, what did they give him? The, uh, I, I don't know. I forget. <laughs> my, my memory is so bad anyway. But Bose wins the title. Wins the title. The title? No title involved here, folks. Despite what I might say sometimes. Bones just won. There he is. Cheer him. Like him, hate him. I don't care what it is. Anyway, we got we got to move on here. I'm a, I'm a sinking ship here. I'm taking everybody with me. Uh, but we got coming up. Oh, the national title. Yes, the very first women's national title champion will be crowned here in this next match. After this next match, and uh, you definitely want to stick around for it. This is the Anal Network reminding you to always wear a condom and come back for more HWA action. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Cornhole Coliseum here in Cincinnati, Ohio. Skinsinnati. No, that's Skinamax. That's it. Sorry. I was thinking, always got porn on my mind. <laughs> Coming down right now. Oh, those red panties. <laughs> that's, that's almost as good as porn. That is Penny Weiss, for ladies and gentlemen, accompanied by Keys Carranza. Uh, Penny Weiss, of course, winning the first bid uh, for this in the battle royal that uh, she was in, eight woman battle royal. And uh, the ending of that, well, she gave Pretty Miss Scarlet. Uh, that was down, was the only two with, with her. And I gave her a corner clothesline right over the top and earned the bid here uh, for Penny Weiss. Let's have a look at it. <clears throat> now getting spun around. Oh, what's, what's Penny got for? Gee, she is, she's got a bag of tricks there, mind you. And just shoves her back. Oh, there's a big clothesline and just so slams her head. And she's going down and Penny Weiss is going to the national championship. That's her, ladies and gentlemen. That is Penny Weiss, and she's going to be, she is uh, one half of this match to determine the very first women's national title champion in a beautiful chartreuse belt. Uh, very, very uh, colorful uh, as the women's, the women's belts are. And to come down right now is the other one. This very, very impressive wrestler here, Miss Mosh Pit Margot, accompanied by Joe Petito, part of the Bunkhouse Productions. And What's her song? Oh, Punk Rock Girl. <laughs> the, the Dead Milkman. I love them. Uh, anyway, let's have a look at what uh, the Mosh Pit Margo did here in her battle royal. Uh, it was her and Trina at the very end. She got Trina up on the turnbuckle, and uh, that big booty didn't help her that time because uh, she gave her a corner over the top flop uh, for the victory. Let's have a look at it. And if uh, she, can, she can get that big center of gravity, get that. Oh, she picks her up, takes her over with the center of gravity, and uh, now she's she got to keep it inside the ring. That's a lot of, and the flips are over. Flips are over, this might be it. Oh, she got her. She got her. Marsh Pit Margo has launched for her very first match here, and she won. Oh, my God. So impressive. 
That's our ladies and gentlemen. That is Mosh Pit Margo. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm grating my teeth here for some reason. <laughs> anyway, uh, one of two. And the other one right there. And there's the belt. There's that belt then, ladies and gentlemen. Another platinum here for the HWA. Belt cost $327,000. Uh, but uh, regardless, we keep a good guard on it. <laughs> you don't want to mess with these. Don't, don't try to take that away from any of the women here. They will kick your ass. I'm serious about that. Uh, I speak from experience. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I do. I don't want to go into that too much. Anyway, here they go. And they're starting. And a big chop slap there by Penny to start things off. And now, oh, facial. I don't know. It's just called a facial. I'm calling it that. And a kick to the face now by Penny. Penny definitely wanting to come away with a victory here for uh, the, for the uh, Asclon Coven. But it's going to take a lot here against this, uh, this impressive young girl, this Mosh Pit Margo. And now just keeping her, keeping her down. Good strategy there by Penny. Stomping her away. <clears throat> now let's her up. And just a chop. Giant chop to the back there. <clears throat> But now punch, and now Mosh Pit Margo driving back and punching. And oh, what's this going to be? Oh, <laughs> nice little, uh, what do they call that? Uh, oh, shit, I forgot it. I'm losing vocabulary again. That was the, uh, the scissor throw. I'll just call it that. Uh, her Karana, I guess you could have called it. But now punch, or punches here. More fisticuffs. <laughs> I think she, just give her some boxing gloves here for Penny Weiss. I don't know. Ah, look at that pick. Oh, the big flip. <laughs> and nothing became of it. But no, it didn't, get, didn't take advantage. Mosh Pit did. Oh, now she goes rolling over. Almost rolls into the, the Mexican announce table. Now Joe coming over. Joe, is Joe going to help her up? No, he's just going to let her get up on her own there. I guess the, the, even when it's on your own team. Oh, a drop kick there by, uh, by uh, Mosh Pit Margo. Now coming around. Looking at her, staring her, staring her, looking death in the face here, you might say. And now they grab together. But no, grabbing the, grabbing the pink mohawk is Penny Weiss. And where's she taking her? Oh, taking her over the stairs. Oh, my God, throws her head right up the stairs. That's some head banging maneuver there for you. She loves a head bang, but uh, not like that. I picked up again. Oh, God, big, big boot to the face. And grabbing her. Oh, what's this going to be? Oh, I got another scissor throw there of her own. Oh, no, right on uh, Margot's head. <laughs> now picking her up. <laughs> the Mexican announce table doesn't know if they, they want to sit or stand for this. I guess they get a better view if they stand. But the people behind them can't see. And that was a that was a DDT, I think, uh, by, by Penny. <clears throat> and I'll pick it up again. And, oh, God, be, <laughs> Jesus Christ. That was a punch and a half. <laughs> Take her right, right down. And picked up again. And she's wobbly. Uh, Moshman Margo did not, did not account for this. And uh, now, oh, God, taking off the table. Just getting her head banged all over the place. I think that's a, that's a smart move by Penny, staying on top of her like this and just wearing her down. And there's a big, big kick to the face. Spins her around. Now spins her rear back around. And we're going back in the ring here. At least she is. And now there comes Penny, too. <laughs> and now Penny. And he's saying, come on, get up over here. I want to grab you. But uh, Mosh Pit Margo's not falling for it. Right now, punch, punching air. <laughs> anyway, uh, grabbing. Oh, it's going to be a oh, uh, Whirly Bird suplex right there on the back of her head. Now uh, picked up again. Oh, Mosh Pit. <laughs> sparkly. <laughs> sparkly and red. There's a punch. Oh, no. Here we go. Now we're talking. Now we're getting some business here. It's going to be the sewer smash. She's got her. That puts the legs back. Oh, down she goes. Oh, that's a view. Oh, no. Before you get before the pin, Joe gets up on the apron. That's another case uh, against the, the Little Burke here. Once you're down, you've got to start counting. You can't get distracted like that. But Penny. Penny in a stance now with Mosh Pit oh, slowly getting back up. And uh, goes for a kick, but she says, no, no, no. That sweeps the leg. Sweep the leg, Johnny. Get him a body bag. And now what's this going to be? Oh, tying her up for some sort of some sort of leg move here. What's this going to be? And now, oh my God, what is that? What is that coming out and grabbing her chin? Oh, the athletic move, and she's in pain. Why wouldn't she be in pain? Look at that entanglement there. Oh, God, goes down and gets her uh, the purple rope right across the eyes. That'll make her eyes purple for a while. And now grabbing her. And now going to the turnbuckle. Here we go. Count it out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And she goes <laughs> down with a stomp to boot. <laughs> or boot, boot to the stomp. Anyway. Oh, grab it. Grabbing her. Got a, oh, that's a tattoo. <laughs> Let's get dirt all over her leg. And now with a pin here. Oh, using the ropes. There's one. There's two. Oh, no. Use that digging deep for some strength to kick her off of there. That's a lot of weight to try to get off you. And now with the Whirly Whirl Boots suplex. Like I say, Penny had to keep the attack, keep a strong attack going if she wants to take out this little girl. And she's doing just that. But now another another one missed. And a kick to the head with the boot. But that, what are those shoes anyway? It's like mini cowboy boots. And now working the knee is Mosh Pit. And now grabbing, oh, there's a, there's a DDT, the facial DDT on Margo right there. And now another stomp. And we're starting to get some real liveliness here. This is starting to get a good match. And now it's working that, uh, what do oh, they call that? Uh, I forgot. That was the uh, Dragon Sleeper, I guess you could call that. It's kind of a popular move here as of late. And now grabbed again. Another sewer smash. Could, this could do it. She's got her in position. What's the ropes? Oh, God, there she's done again. And that's oh, nice view. There's one. There's two. Oh, get kicked out again. Uh, Mosh Pit Margo. 
<laughs> Unbelievable here. She's uh, for a second week in a row, and now a big knee to the face. And Penny coming around. And Penny in the stance again. She's got uh, like that very smart of this wrestler here to, to, to keep the offense going. And a kick right there. Now this, oh, it's going to be the red balloon. We're going to switch it up. There she's dangling. And all that blood goes to the face. Look at her breathing. She's just struggling to breathe right there. And don't crash it down. Yeah, you can't get air in your lungs when you're going when it's going the wrong way. And now you know, there's a pin. There's one. There's two. Oh, kick that again! I can't believe it. Why spit Margo more and more impressive every every minute here, every second. And now going up, let's see, we're going to see some high flying action here by Penny. And Penny goes with a giant frog splash. I just lands up, trying to flatten her implants out. Oh, she's going out again. And Penny going up again. What is this? Just trying to keep up the attack. And another frog splash again down on top of her. Oh my God, <laughs> that's some great offense here. Taking a little time to get down there. There's one, there's two. Oh, what the, what was that? There was no second count. She didn't lift her, her arm up here. Oh, Leonard Burke, this could be problems for him. I don't know, right now, that's problems for Margo though. She goes up again. Another frog, frog splash again. Oh my God, how much more can she take? The punishment, oh wow. She got the, the boot up, kicked her right in the side of the head and she snapped back up. Unbelievable, folks. This is just one of the greatest wrestlers, new wrestlers, I think, another red balloon. That might, might just do it. I don't know. She's, she's got to be digging deep <laughs> after the blood rushes to the head. She, the, she body rushes to the mat. And uh, they're coming in for another pin there. Oh, nice view. There's one. There's two. And she kicks out again. I cannot believe this, folks. I am gobsmacked right now. That's a word I'm, I'm loath to use because I don't even know what the fuck it means. But another stance by Penny. Oh, Jesus. And a pen. He's going to kick to the crotch. And another red balloon. Trying to make that blood rush to the head again until she can't take anymore. Good Lord, she's up there a long time. And finally comes crashing down. Joe's a little worried here. Joe says, come on, crowd. Let's get into it now for another pin. Will this do it? There's one. <coughs> There's two. There's three, <laughs> Betty Wise has won the women's national title, but not easily. Oh, God, that took a lot to, to, to take this little girl down. Right here you see the first of several, I think, the Super Smash. Getting her around there, you duck the head, and you slam her. And that's all. I got the, I, 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 no, that was it. That was it right there. Thank you for showing that. That was Leonard Burke down for the count, but no, he gets back up. I, I, I see I see Kangaroo Jones uh, with an opportunity here uh, amongst opportunities for other people, but uh, not for Leonard Berkman right here. Another sewer smash gets her down and uh, down again. And of course the count, there's one, there's two, and she was able to get out of that just push out of it, pushing through the frog splash, numerous frog splashes by Penny, and went for a pin there, Keys, Keys cheering her on, wants, that, wants to see that green belt coming home. And there's one, there's two, that, nope. There was no. I, I don't know. I'd have, to, I'd have to see that again. I'd have to review that a couple times. Maybe we'll do that before the podcast and figure out exactly what was going on there. But after this move, there was one. There was two. <laughs> there was another kick out. Another kick out. And of course, they never show the finishing move at the end of the, the, with the late pin because they just suck that way. But there she is. That's something that doesn't suck right there. That belt. It is. Penny Weiss getting the first women's national championship right there. God, she's gruesome looking. Well, she's not gruesome looking. She's actually pretty looking. But those fucking eyes. God, those eyes will burn burn your soul. So, with that, <coughs> speaking of burning, my throat's burning. i got to get another drink here. But uh, coming up right now, we have the first blood match between the big Sabu and the very technical Mr. Q. We'll uh, come back. Uh, this is the Anal Network reminding you to always wear a condom and come back for more HWA action. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to our return to the Cornhole Coliseum here in Cincinnati, Ohio. And coming down right now, <laughs> the big powerful man himself, the, ta the television title holder uh, for the moment. He very well could be the Inner Horseman champion or naturally the world champion again at some point. But right now he's the TV title holder and he's Sabu. And he, uh, oh, first blood match, first blood rules. No managers coming down, but uh, Chaz backstage rooting for him. Uh, to, with him in spirit, as you would say. But let's have a look at what Sabu did for the television title. He uh, retained the television title. This was his uh, first defense, and he performed the Liberty Bomb on Booger Dude, who, like I say, didn't have a lot to bring to that uh, that uh, performance. Uh, but he, uh, Sabu did retain the television title. Let's have a look at it. You have any? I don't know. Maybe. Oh, now Sabu. Here he comes. He's going to take him off the ropes. And it's going to be the Liberty Bomb. And he crashes him down. And all right on the spine. And now going for a pin. This might do it. Booger Dude. There's one. There's two. There's three. Sabu has defended his title as we probably thought he would. That's him, folks. That is Sabu. And <laughs> speaking of phlegm. <laughs> 
Uh, I gotta get some vegetable soup after this. Yeah, we got some homemade vegetable soup waiting for me, and I'm a little anxious to get to it. But we gotta finish first things first here tonight. Right there. Good Lord. Almost hit the camera with the big ass elbows coming back. A giant fucking dude. Good God almighty. Ah, uh, there he is. He may be smaller in stature, but he has uh, got a lot of heart. It is Mr. Q, who we saw in a submission match, actually. He put the, uh, the uh, one of that uh, new move, the, the move I just learned the name of, the Dragon Sleeper. And that uh, was put on Bandit for a submission victory. Very humiliating for Bandit, but very good for Mr. Q. Let's have a look at it. And... He's got him in a position. Just slap a hold on him, you big jackass. He does. He can put the that knee in the back again. That now, finally, he does it. Finally. He has to tap out. That slam safe back. That's him, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Q, who uh, he's, we've seen him in several different types of bouts. We've seen him in submission matches. But I believe this is the first time we've seen him in a first blood match. Uh, Sabu, too, for that matter. We've seen Sabu, in, I think, probably in the earlier days. But uh, it's anybody's game here right now. Oh, God. That's starting action. Flying, high-flying fist action there. Trying to bust him open early. And now a kick and Sabu's down. Sabu. Uh, he tends to take things lightly here for a little while, but no, not, he snaps right back up there. And now coming, oh God, oh God, a clothesline that takes out Leonard Burke. That's a little poetic after tonight, I'd say. Uh, thanks, Sabu. But the, right now, working, he can't determine a winner if the, if the guy's on his back. <laughs> that was amazing clothesline, though. Just took out everything. Took out the popcorn vendor for a little bit. <laughs> and now a kicking, more kicking to the back as Sabu works on Mr. Q. Now. Uh, going to the going to the turnbuckle, going to the ropes here, and got, oh god, a little slow there, but they got the elbow around and popped him right in the head, and another kick to the back. Uh, it seems to be working on the back occasionally here to try to keep him uh, a little off kilter. And now a shot to the back. There comes now oh, gonna be Mr. Q. Mr. Q working Sabu into the corner, and goes for oh goes for a close goes for a clothesline. Was that a clothesline or a, a leg coming up into the ribs? But now oh they're stomping him down, still working the ribs and the chest. Oh just pounding him into a jelly right now. Wow, good good effort by Mr. Q. I gotta say. Sorry, <laughs> I knew I'd be burping a lot after we went to the Olive Garden, had the, the endless salad bowl. Oh Jesus Christ, I had like six of those fucking things. <laughs> anyway, there, oh, stop, stop, oh, stomps on the on the abdomen, the solar plexus by Sabu. So I'd be burping a little here occasionally. Oh now working the oh working the leg here and goes forward, goes backwards for the hammy and pulls that. Sabu, he's a well-rounded wrestler. He's, he's not not too much for a first blood match here. Right now, he's just kind of working the body. But uh, you work the body. Oh, guys. Oh, let's see. oh, my God. If that didn't open him up, good. God almighty. Those gloves and a big spin around blast like Sabu does. Now Sabu working him down, and he's going to try to he's trying to pull his head off. But he's not, not a ketchup bottle, Sabu. Good God. <laughs> he's working him. So making him smell that armpit. That's like, that can't be pleasant either. But now... Still working on it. It, it. Mr. Q cannot get out of this. Mr. Q is in trouble in this situation right here. It, it's, you're trying to cut the circulation off to the head. You can't, well, you can't bleed there if he's not got no circulation. But Jesus, Sabu holding him for forever. And finally has to let go. Oh, what that was about. Oh, there he comes. A, a full, uh, yeah, it was a clothesline with the entire body by Mr. Q. <laughs> you should see that every once in a while. But now he's picking up on Sabu. Now working the arm. And oh, God, pulls him down. Slams his face hard on the mat. Trying to make him bleed through, through the mat. Well, you can make him bleed through the uh, turnbuckles. Why not the mat? And he says, come on. Come on, Q. Get up. Stay on Q. <laughs> and now punches him off the apron. And he goes crumbling down. And Sabu. Sabu working the uh, turn to that Muhammad Ali stuff. Oh, now going up. Oh. Uh, he gets a double axe handle off the top rope. That could do it. That could easily open him up. And goes. Oh, shot <laughs> flying splash. And snaps right back up. I can't believe Sabu. He's, he'll feel that later. When you're on PCP, you don't t tend to not feel things, but... Oh, wait, I didn't say that. Oh, now the big ch chops and slaps by Sabu. And Sabu picking Q up and slamming him down. This time a shot to the gut on the knee. Now as he picks, uh, picks uh, Q up again. Q, Q a little wobbly. And now a clothesline by Sabu takes him down again. And oh, stomp to the head. Or stomp to the Was that to the chest? Head of the chest. It's hard to see. Hard to see from this angle, guys. Can we get another camera in here? One, one more camera. Oh, there's another fist. You saw that coming all the way that side of that temple. That'll easily knock a guy out. But it's not going to do so much to open him up uh, the, to, in the forehead area. And I'll punch by, by, by Q. And now Q with a chop slap. Now it's going to be... Oh, cut. Spin around. Drop kick. That was an impressive move by Q. It takes Sabu down. Now Sabu picked up again. And working... Oh, now Sabu taking a fireman's roll over on, on Q. And now working a punch. It goes for a punch and misses. But now Q popping him in the gut. And Q tracking the swing. Now this time Sabu blocking and popping back. Pumping him in the face. And goes for a close line and misses. And now it's another miss. Good Lord. Back and forth, folks. This is, this is a good match. This is a, uh, these, two, these two tangling, you might say. And now with the knee coming in. And now got a big knee lift on Q. But he's, he's able to stay on his feet somehow. 
And now, oh, gonna pick, what's the pack? Sabu, oh God! He goes for that, that spinning roll soup, a package suplex, I like to call that. And Sabu having a problem getting back up right now. Having, having some back problems. But now Q. <clears throat> Q taking him. What's Q got? Oh, Q's going to take him off the post. That, that's a good ch shot. Ch good chance of opening him up. And another shot to the post. And Sabu falls down. Sabu, <laughs> Sabu wants no more of that, I don't think. And now a stomp to the, to the laces. <laughs> okay. I need a drink here. Hold on. Yeah. Okay, there we go. And now Sabu. Sabu. Oh, Sabu off the post again. Uh, Mr. Q smart very wisely using that post to try to open Sabu up. He's got to try to get through that leather headband somehow. They're trying to, uh, try to bust the, the skin underneath. And all punches. And more punches by Sabo on Q. He's on Q. <laughs> and now throwing him back in the ring. We're going to go back in the ring. All right, good. <laughs> I like to see some ring action here every once in a while. <laughs> Especially in these uh, <laughs> false gun anywhere matches. <laughs> no, an elbow now by, by Sabo and punching away on Q. And Q goes, uh, goes down to a knee, but is able to still, still keep some composure. Now Sabu going kicking in, and here he comes. It's going to be the Liberty Bomb. I've got it. That won't do much to open him up, but regardless, it'll still get some blood shaking to the head there. And now kicking away before Sabu can uh, do a pickup power bomb. I think we might have been going for. And Sabu picked up once again. Sabu wobbly though. Yeah, Q trying to take over here and take Sabu off the ropes. And now what is that? Oh my God! Tosses him in the air like he's nothing. And takes him over. It's going to get tossed up by Five Ringer, and he got him. Oh, wow. That's a good head move there for him. If he could do that a couple more times, he might have Sabu. Might be, might be kind of a, uh, I don't know what, uh, here comes again on the five ringer, and I got that Sabu's down again. Very, very high percentage for him here. Sabu, it could be an upset. And now grabbing it. Good Lord. <laughs> Something out of a porno. And now we're punching the head back. And Sabu, oh, Mr. Q just dancing around, showing off a little bit. I guess he got a, a moment. He can do that. He's not, uh, He typically doesn't do that, but stomps on the back of Sabu's head. And now what's this? We're going to see some angles here. It's going to be. He got him up here. What is this? Oh, God. Just a, just a sideways slam. Uh, there's a, sort of a side-by-side -side power bomb, you might say. And now Sabu. Sabu having probably He's got to get some. He's got to shake the cobwebs loose right now. Sabu getting get pounded in the corner. And here he comes. What's this going to be? He's going to drive him through and he can put a shoulder buster on that post as he goes flying through between the top and middle ropes. And now more stomping by Mr. Q. Stomp, stomp. <laughs> spin, spin, round, round, stomp, stomp, whatever you have. <laughs> now, dragging Sabu, dragging that huge carcass out. It comes down with a double axe handle on the head. That's it's having problems. He's starting to wear down here. Mr. Q, now Mr. Q stomping on the hip, uh, rolling Sabu over. And it's another, <laughs> another scene out of Oz, I would think. <laughs> you might say, might say that. But uh, coming down over the elbow on Sabu's back. Thank you. Q, Q getting ready to stance here. If he's going for another F5 ringer, that might just do it. And it takes him over. It will be. He's got him up and down. He goes and we saw it. We saw the blood. There he is, Mr. Q. That's one against all odds here against Sabu. Oh, my. Let's have a look at it again here. Woo. <laughs> so, there we got Mr. Sabu taking him off. Of course, this, this move, uh, very good for regular wrestling. Not so good for uh, getting them opened up. But this, this move definitely opens the guy up. Can't open the guy up. We just saw Sabu with the F5 ringer. After that, just taking him, grabbing him out of the air. Unbelievable, another shot there. I think it took him to take three or four of them. But uh, in the end, they did. And here, was this the, th the fourth one? Right down. And I, I didn't see the, the, nope, was that? No, that was it. That, that was, of course, the, the ending of it. Thanks for that. <laughs> you didn't show the red flash, so I couldn't tell the blood. But, hey, why, why help me? Why do anything to help the announcer? Fuckheads. Anyway, <laughs> Mr. Q with the victory there. And Sabu. Sabu once again. A little, little, little disappointed there. So we'll have to see if uh, he can make a comeback. Sabu, like I said, has, has, has had his problems. Uh, he's came back with that television title. I guess in a match like this, maybe you kind of hold something back. You don't want to expend yourself too much. But uh, in the end, you'll have the, the, the title shot, and hopefully you'll be able to, to, to make it pay. So with that, Mr. Q has the victory for the day, and we're going to cut away. When we come back, we have the world championship match between Gold, Goldfather set, putting up his title against Katungi. This is the HWA and the Anal Network reminding you to always wear a condom and come back for more HWA action. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, here to the Cornell Coliseum in Cincinnati, Ohio, where I'm drinking the Cincinnati water. <laughs> probably better things to drink. <laughs> like, like moose piss, probably. <laughs> Could be even better than the Cincinnati water. But I'm drinking it anyway, because, why? Just because I don't give a shit. But <laughs> here comes right now. <laughs> it is Katungi. I did that pretty good. Give me a break. Uh, accompanied by Chaz Signer. Normally, we would have Katungi accompanied by <clears throat> Saul Goldberg. 
in his uh, his lovely uh, safari outfit. But uh, Chad Segner stepped in and say, Salt, we're going to set this one out. This is a very important match, and it's not like I don't trust you, but I, I really want to be ringside for Kentucky for this uh, World Championship match because there is no more important match to, to go into than the World Championship here in the HWA. But Katungi, who we saw uh, in the Extreme Rolls match not too long ago, performing the Jungle Judgment on Bob Zombie to get the victory. That was a lot of big, big people in that match. Let's have a look at it. Now Katungi with a little little ch jostling there. And what's this going to be? Oh, he's going to take him. He's got him up. Oh, thank God. That's, that's a, the, the, the jungle judgment. And he nailed him hard on that. Hard on. There's one. There's two. There's three. Oh, Katungi with a win here against B Big Bob Zombie. That's Katungi, ladies and gentlemen. Ready to go take this gold home. <laughs> it's plain and simple. That's what he's here for. He likes the gold shininess, but of course he's going to have also that gold shiny package that, that's uh, has, uh, caused some problems for some other wrestlers here, namely Crow Magnon for the gold father. And there he is. <coughs> shiny. He's got that more gold than usual there. Of course he's got the gold around his waist. That HWA World Championship. And we'll see how he got that. Uh, when he performed, was he, he was going up against uh, was it Crow Magnon? Uh, I think, uh, yeah, he was going up against him and took, gave him a butterfly suplex off the top rope, followed it up with a Greek on a leash, and got that Horseman World Championship victory. Let's have a look at it. He's going, what's this going to be? Oh, it's going to, what is this? Oh, my God, a, 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 a fucking a God, chicken wing suplex off the top rope. Dear God almighty. Uh, Crow, is, Crow is hurting right now. And uh, your gold father's not done yet. Oh, dear Lord, what do you follow that up with? That was enormous. And now another, another Greek on the leash choke slam, and Crow's down again. Looking down at the, the, the keys, trying to get the crowd going here, trying to, trying to get cheering for Crow. They, they, they like him out here. And now a pin, there's one. There's two. There's three. There's three. That did do it. Oh my God, that last choke slam did it. We have a new champion. That's him, ladies and gentlemen. That is the Gold Father, accompanied by none other than Joe Petito for Bunkhouse Productions, which has been very impressive as, as of late. You've got him with the World Championship. You've got the Inner Horseman Championship with the Rubber Duck. And uh, who has the television title? Well, he's probably going to be going after that next uh, in the form of Sabu. But we'll have to see who uh, when he gets lined up for that right there. Big, God, big fucking dude. <laughs> anyway, ready. He's, he's, he's ready. He wants to get it on, and here we go. And he comes out of the gate running and grabs out, grabs Katungi by the head and gives him a DDT right off the bat. Oh, my. And now coming up with the hands. He, he's going to have to work fast. When you go up against these big guys, the important thing is to work fast and try to get it over because you, you got weight on their side, and that can definitely wear on you over. And now, right now, the cold father is in the corner getting a pull-away suplex and slam, or the pull-away powerbomb, and he goes down hard. <clears throat> now getting picked up by Katungi. That would probably you got to yeah, Goldfather's got to work fast and fast and hard. <laughs> Sounds like my first marriage. Anyway, <laughs> it was work, believe me. <laughs> anyway, got, trying to take him out with a clothesline, and that his, uh, one arm didn't do it, so he used his whole body in a quick pin there. Oh, okay, that's a, that's a little odd. I guess you uh, you do want to try to pin early pin off, and I don't think it's gonna work in this case. This big son of a bitch, but uh, Goldfather not picking him up and grabbing the arm and gets that arm pull and face plant down on Goldie. Now. We got, uh, <laughs> notice I called him Gold Goldfather. No longer calling him Goldschlager and uh, Goldfeather or some stupid shit like that. But a big, picking a big man up. I just noticed that. How did I miss that? And now goes, oh, goes for a headbutt. But now bald on bald. He got the elbow coming back. Nailing him square in the eyes. And between the eyes. And now picking him up. Picking up Goldfather and crunching him down. Oh, right on the right on the rib cage. And now that big weight coming down one. He be able to kick out. Yeah, usually you want to have to kick out under a big guy like this because that's a lot of weight to try to take out. And another fly running DDT there by the Goldfather. And stomping away. And Chaz. Chaz looking a little concerned there in his uh, lovely new outfit. Uh, I wonder how things are going on the ranch down there that he bought. <laughs> or uh, somehow uh, acquired. <laughs> Grabbing the head, pulling, slamming him down. Huck of Tungy now. And Goldfather picks the big guy up. There, and a little wobbly there, but no, Kotungi able to reverse. And a gold, ever goes Goldfather. And now grabbing the Goldfather. It's going to be a suplex. It's way up high. Good <laughs> Lord, Timber. That's, that's a, some pretty good height there you got on him with that suplex. And now grabbing the Goldfather. And Goldie. Goldie, oh, Goldie goes for a clothesline here, but misses. And now it's going to be, oh, it's just a tribal triple edit on him. That's number one. Here he goes this way for another suplex at number two. And, of course, as he takes him, spins him around and gets him in position for the third suplex right there. Jesus, God almighty, just bashing his body around like it's a, like it's a, a punching bag, a crash test dummy. I think it might be, you might want to 
uh, talk about. But now going for it. Oh, grabbing him. That, that falls out with that jungle judgment. Oh, good lord. And goes for a pin. Smart move here. We'll go to kick out. I don't know. There's one. There's two. Oh, he is able to get that, that elbow, that shoulder up. And Katongi says, it says to Chaz, hey, that should have been a three count. Only he said it is. Something like that. Anyway, now working that. Oh, working the neck here. Got the popcorn. Pop, 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 pop. Big nub. <laughs> hey, got, anybody want some fresh popcorn? They're doing it down here right now on Goldfather's neck. <laughs> Goldfather trying to trying to break out there. Chaz not too worried. <laughs> yes, he shouldn't be because Katungi's in control. I was thinking of something else. <laughs> now a punch. Goldfather tries to come up. And a punch square in the head there. Right into, right into the tribal paint. <laughs> and now gets him. Oh, taking the Goldfather up. He got him. He got him with that, that, that Greek on a leash. And now Leonard Burke taking forever to get down. There's one. There's two. And go oh, just a shoulder up there. And on, on the third, coming to the third count for Katungi. Goldie now up. And Goldie, Goldie going crazy. It's a, it's a psychotic head slam right there. <laughs> down comes the shot. Goldie, let's go. <laughs> do it again. I love doing that. <laughs> no, he's not going to do it again. All right, so he stomps on. <laughs> I'm having too much fun. Right now, Goldie going up. Go to a little, little high flying action. It's going to be a, a macho elbow coming down on, the, on that big guy. Uh, slamming him down. And uh, Katungi having some troubles right now. Katungi now, the Goldie going over. Going checking out with checking in with Joe just quickly and comes back around. Now stomping. And staring down. What's he gonna do? Oh, grabs Katungi by the head and picks him back up. He wants him on his feet for whatever he's got in mind. Oh, goes for another body clothesline, but no, slapped out of the air. And now here it goes. Oh, not again, folks. Another oh, that was the, the not the tribal triple That was just a big old suplex there by the big man. And now, oh God, it's a chin buster by the gold father. Back and forth, these two bald heads clashing at the clash of the baldies. <laughs> and now, grabbing, oh, going for the corner there, but grabbing. Oh, DDT stuff, got his headstand. DDT, that was like a breakdance move. And, as he says, I think he said, now clothesline. And another clothesline coming from Good Tungi. And, of course, the missed clothesline. And a flying clothesline. That's a lot of weight to be flying with a clothesline against gold father. Gold father's starting to feel woozy, you can tell. Now going for this. Oh, here it comes. Another spin around. That was a, that was a jungle judgment right there again. And Goldie, not, not going for the pin. I can't believe that. Grabbing his head, pulling him up. And what's he going? He's going to the, oh, into the turnbuckle. God, he hit that hard. That's a crack your spine right there. That's, that's, there's some padding on there, but there's still metal in the, uh, the holding those ropes in place. And now with a leg throw, Goldie trying to come back. And Goldie, Goldie going up. Goldie going up, and there's nobody to land on. And go, let's go, Goldie has to turn around. Says, oh, there you are. Oh, my God. As he comes flying down an uppercut from hell. Back at Tungi. Almost knocks his face off. And now, like, yes, it is awesome. Thank you. And now, grabbing, grabbing the, 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 the Goldfather, picking him back up. And now our punches. Giant, big, massive fists. But blocks that one and now punches himself. That's some that pugilist. Fisticuffs, you guys say. I love that word. And now going back in. Rolling back in. And Goldie. Goldie a little bit in control right now. But now getting distracted. Oh, that's a, that's a mistake. Goldie's been in here a long time, but they, they finally get distracted by that by that fucking cowboy hat. And there's a back brain DDT by uh, Katungi now pin. There's one. There's two. There's three. There's three. That that probably busted his head. Katungi is the new world champion. Oh dear lord. <laughs> that was a, it wasn't a spectacular move, but it was enough to take care of business after the punishment Goldfather already had. Right there, you see a big suplex and. Then you had this, the, uh, the, the, the jungle judgment spinning around, going off the ropes and everything. It was, it gets his legs ripped off. Had a quick pin there. Jazz celebrating, but he, he wasn't ready to celebrate yet. The one, two. And, of course, got that shoulder up just barely on the third count. And then to put this, that uh, Greek on a leash. That worked for him last time against Little, little uh, Crow. But now he was down. It was one. Course number two, and now that shoulder came up. But uh, I had this. Oh, another, another. Oh my God, this is brutal. Look at that. It's just, just flopping around. Electricity. And then this. Boom! <laughs> my God, that's a fist that you'll never see. You'll, you won't forget. You won't remember it. He just got knocked cold. He, Mama said, knock you out, and he just did. So there's Katongi. Oh, you're going to have to expand that belt, I think. I don't think you're going to get it around his waist. But regardless, he is your new world heavyweight champion here, Katongi. <laughs> it was his first shot at the world title, and I think he just nailed it. So, Chaz Segner, once again, in the money. That little disappointment with Sabu after that last match, but that 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 will wipe away any disappointment he has. What's, what's, is Chaz talking to somebody? Somebody's mouthing off to Chaz. I don't know. He's, he's distracted. <laughs> the guy just won the championship. He's just standing there. <laughs> what he's doing. Anyway, Katungi is your world champion there as he goes off. Chaz will be, be along soon enough. And now taking the, he's going to stare at the, he's staring at me again. Guys, he's staring at me again. Quit looking at me! No. 
Okay, he, he won't quickly because it's a free stream. I just, I, I just play like that. Anyway, that is our show for tonight. And uh, when we come back, we're gonna be having show forty. A uh, nice number there, if, especially if you're turning 40, you're over the hill. But uh, the HWA, we don't worry about that because we hit that point a long time ago. Uh, anyway, coming up uh, next week is going to be, where are we at next week? Uh, do, do we have the notes on there? Uh, can we see? Can you tell me what it is? Uh, you can't tell me what it is. Or can you? I don't know. Well, it's not, say so. Oh, okay. Uh, that's why you didn't want to tell me. I got it. Okay, we're going to be in Cleveland at the Brownstein Forum. Yeah. <laughs> okay. But anyway, let's go ahead and talk about next week. Uh, we're going to have the handicap match between the Rubber Duck and oh, okay, they, the, the official. They, they made it official. It's going to be the Rubber Duck facing the Piranhas. That is just in mime and PVC Kid. Apparently, I called them the Piranhas, and uh, they liked it, so they stuck with it. So they were uh, officially a, a tag team, but only for handicap matches. I don't know. Whatever. Sounds good to me. But after that, so we're going to have the Extreme Rules match between Nico Inoki and Vivacious Vic Volger. Vic Volger uh, trying, to, trying to get a win there under his belt. Uh, it's been a while for him. Uh, then we'll have the Women's Championship, the Women's World Championship, I should say. BT Goth is going to be taking on Roadblock Rachel. After that, we'll have a nice uh, exhibition match there for you, just a standard match rules. Uh, it's going to be Corporal Punishment versus The Bandit. <laughs> I think CR is going to enjoy that one. Corporal Punishment's a bad son of a bitch, and uh, he likes to see Bandit get punished. <laughs> Shaking his hips and his, uh, the porn stash. Anyway, but after that, the, the, the main event is going to be uh, the Manager's Championship. It's going to be the rematch of Deuce Albino going up against Keys Correa. Uh, and if Keys can uh, avoid the, all the run-ins by Deuce Albino's men, uh, his minions, I think uh, he's going to do okay. But we will have to wait and see uh, when we come back in Cleveland next week. So uh, that's it for tonight. This is oh, be sure to check out the podcast, anchor.fm slash hwarules.com. And as always, subscribe, uh, hit the button, get reminders, and uh, you know the rest. So with that, we cut away. This is the Anal Network reminding you to always wear a condom. The son of a bitch is still looking at me. The, no, 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 sorry, I forget. I forget. Okay. Anyway, uh, thanks for joining us. Uh, we'll see you next week. And good night.